Hello, welcome back to your physics teacher. So now we're looking at section 1.1 from the Nelson textbook and we're going to be looking at questions number 6 and 7. For the other questions make sure that you hit subscribe and look at the channel where I solve the other questions to this section. For question number 6 we have the a batter hits a baseball in a batting practice cage. The ball undergoes an average acceleration of 1.37 times 10 to the power of 3 meters per second squared west and 3.12 times 10 to the power of negative 2 seconds before it hits the cage wall. Calculate the velocity of the baseball when it hits the wall. So let's see here. Let's draw a baseball. And this baseball. Suppose that it's traveling to the right. Now, the reason why it says traveling to the right, which is east, is because the acceleration is given to us as west. So this suggests that the object is actually slowing down, as you might suspect because of the air resistance. So here they didn't say there is no air resistance. So the average acceleration is that quantity and it is pointing west. Now this is the average acceleration just before it hits a wall. And the time interval that this takes place in so in this case we don't have the initial velocity or the final velocity but because we know the average acceleration during a time interval and the time interval we can use our formula for acceleration so our average acceleration is the change in velocity or the change in time we can multiply both sides by the change in time and this is so we can isolate for the change in velocity so let's put in the values that we are given which is 1.37 so our average velocity is 42.74 meters per second and the direction will be west so our change in velocity is west so what we can do because the definition of change in velocity is the final velocity minus initial velocity. So this is going to be helpful because if you look back at the question, we have the baseball, it's just about to hit the wall. And during this phase, it is slowing down during that time interval. And what they actually wanted us to calculate is the velocity of the baseball when it hits the wall. Hmm. So in this case, when it hits the wall, we don't have more information, right? Because if you assume the initial velocity to be zero, that won't be true for that time interval. And if you take the final velocity to be zero, then that object will be momentarily at rest. So I think that's what we can do in this case. Actually, this question is quite tricky. I didn't think it would be that complicated. Um, yeah, maybe in this case you might want to help me out. I don't know what the question is asking us anything more than this. Calculate the velocity of the baseball when it hits the wall. Hmm. 
not sure what other assumptions you have to make. Maybe, uh, let me do number seven and we'll come back and then when I think of something else. So for number seven, we have a track, a track runner begins running at the starting whistle and reaches a velocity of 9.3 meters per second. So we have a track runner and they begin to run when the whistle is blown. So in this case, the initial velocity is assumed to be starting from rest, so it's going to be zero. And it reaches a final velocity of 9.3 meters per second. Now in this case, forward, you could assume in any direction that you want, but usually it's good to assume that it's to the right. And this whole change in motion takes place in a time interval of 3.9 seconds. So what they want us to calculate is the average acceleration. So all we need to do is use our formula. The average acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. So oh, this question is not so complicated. And the change in velocity is the final velocity minus initial velocity over the change in time. Our final velocity is 9.3 meters per second. Now in this case, I'm assuming forward is positive. So that's why I just put 9.3 meters per second. My initial velocity is zero. And the change in time was 3.9 seconds. Again, uh, whenever an object starts from rest, that suggests that the initial velocity is zero because the object only move as soon as the whistle was blown. So that's why here you can make that assumption. So let's calculate the average acceleration, 9.3 divided by 3.9. So our average acceleration is 2.38 meters per second per second. And it is a positive value, so this suggests that it's in the same direction that we associated the positive value to be in. So if you recall, we said the positive direction is forward, which is to the right. Now don't forget, it is a vector quantity, that's why you have to put the direction, the magnitude and the direction. So for this question, um, the ball slowing down before it hits the cage wall. Calculate the velocity of the baseball when it hits the wall. Not sure. Not sure. Uh, leave your comments and help me out with this question too because I, I, I seem to have gotten stuck. So uh, look to... I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And then um, I'll help you out with other questions. So you help me out with this one, all right?